Hello, welcome back to another video. I've uh, got the camera on that red box at the moment, so I can't be bothered to take it off. So it makes things a bit easier. Right, so, I'll be looking at the B car, B flying car again today. Um, I just wanted to go through a few quick things. Um, try and keep this a bit more steady this time. As you can see, I've tacked on a little uh, FPV unit here. Try and get the camera on it. Uh, this is a uh, 5.8 thousand milliwatt. Um, all I've done with this is I'm going to be using a uh, little connector which goes onto the um, battery charge balancing lead. Um, so that goes onto here. Just adapts it onto there. I was messing about about cut the wires because I was trying to work out what I was doing, <laughs> being an idiot as I am. Um, so yeah, I'm going to test that today. Uh, that already comes with a wire, a little yellow wire you can see here, which goes to the front camera, a little front camera. So that should be interesting to test. Um, a few things I wanted to mention: battery location. I was, I followed uh, B steps on the website with this, going around the the metal bar at the bottom down here to strap the battery onto I'm not 100% sure with that seems a little bit haphazard to me I can probably move that around and tighten it a bit more but it's not great um, also setting it up uh, there's a post on B's uh, Kickstarter website which goes through some of the first 40 units had uh, the wrong labels on the um, signal cables so if you have any problems with that, check your cabling. I went through it on mine, but it's all fine. Um, I've put on on mine, as you can see, I've put on the a bit overkill 8000 Spectrum AR 8000, but I've got a DX8, so well, why not? If I want to put on a few more bits, I always can. Uh, that's just the little Spectrum sender unit down there. Um, other things I wanted to cover. Um, setting up the unit, um, you might want to check out the multi Wii FAQ page uh, as the flight control is based on multi Wii. Uh, they give you the reasons for different LEDs flashing on the board so you can work out what problems you may or may not have and try and find your issues. Um, I didn't really have any problems arming it, um, the only sort of issue I'd say I could say I run into uh, was where I had to reverse some of my channels I can't quite remember what ones it was I think um, I, I think it was rudder and aileron I've reversed um, because I was trying to arm it and I couldn't arm it and I was thinking what the hell is going on here and because uh, the channels were reversed I'm not even looking at the right one am I what am I doing? Try and do too many things at once, this is what you get. Uh, aileron reversed, rudder reversed. Yeah, so I reversed them because um, I was trying to arm it and it wasn't arming. And I realised if I went in the opposite direction, it did arm. So uh, that kind of got around that. Uh, again, if you look on uh, B's Kickstarter updates uh, and also the multi week configurations, uh, you can find the sheets which show you the different. Uh, different positions where you put the sticks so to arm on the B unit you swip, swip, you switch from gear 0 to gear up so that turns off the back motor and the green light on the uh, switchboard will turn off and then that allows you to uh, I think on mine it's to the right with the other stick central and that will arm the board and then you'll get a blue light and then you'll get throttle control for your um, props on your left because when you're driving throttles on the right so um, but yeah other than that I'm just trying to think anything else I wanted to quickly cover in this video um, there's no one thing that might have been helpful was a USB port on the flight controller board then we'd get a bit more control over fiddling with that but I'm wondering if B's done that for a reason to kind of stop things being too easy to mess up. <laughs> I don't blame him really. People start messing around with things, it all goes wrong. Um, 
One other thing I found, uh, I had a quick test of it the other day, and this ESC down here gets very hot. Uh, I didn't have a lot of space to drive quickly, so I was going quite slow. So I think that might be part of the reason it's overheated a little bit. But that was overheating and cutting out, and I had to reset the whole unit to re-engage the ESC and get drive back to the motors. Um, but it was a very hot day, it was like 28 degrees out or something. Um, so yeah, I think so far they're the main points. Uh, I'm going to go out and try this FPV in a sec and uh, see how we go with that. Yeah, it should be a good bit of fun. So stay tuned for some hopefully uh, FPV flight videos coming up just after this video. Cheers guys. Thank you very much. Big up B. Nice one B. Loving the design mate. Out people.